sir, I have a question. Uh, I've already uh, mentioned earlier that there are three questions which I'm having right now. That is number one, how will one start with two or more brands in one cloud kitchen? Uh, and I mean the process for inviting other brands under the same roof. Let me just understand this. You yes, have sir. a space, you have a kitchen, and yeah. under the same roof you want to have multiple brands. Yes. That's the same, same, same way. It's just that one location you are serving three brands. That's about yeah. it. Three different entities. Now, three different entities to the outer world. Right. Whereas, if it is all the three brands are owned by you, you might as well do a kind of synergy between your ordering and this thing as a back end. Okay. You need not have three separate, you can have three, obviously three sections, but your base work, if you need chopped onions for three areas, you do one chopped onion and distribute to three. You okay. Synchronize that. And you operate with three brands, that's perfectly fine. It's better to have multiple brands than have a multi kitchen format, multi cuisine format. But you yes. have a section dedicated to that brand. Okay. Base work, you synchronize and synergize so that you save manpower, you save cost. Okay, so you mean to say uh, that means that uh, I one can operate under one roof, and so I can bring out some other brands also in my uh, uh, under in cloud kitchen. You mean to say? Hundred percent. Okay, so for, for that, uh, kitchen is an entity. It's a floating. Nobody knows what it is. You can have it anywhere. Exactly, exactly. So how will it be? Because I am talking about a mod, uh, model that is company-owned franchisee operation. Example. Meaning company-owned franchisee operation means some, suppose a fran uh, franchiser. Um, it's up to the company. That's, all, it's, that's okay. It's operating from your kitchen. You are the franchisee. Yes, yes. Franchisee and, and the franchisee. Whether it's your own brand that you're doing, you've taken a franchise, it's all the same. Yes. No, but actually, I want to incur some. They have some clauses that they have to, you have to use certain ingredients from their angle. That's all. But if it is yours, you use that brand as a thing. Even as a franchisee, you might get some marketing help from him also. Yes. Well, actually, uh, as a question I have said that, but who is going to invest the first the raw materials or the operational cost initially for the other brands in my in my own cloud kitchen? So that is again how the contract is made. If the franchiser, say for example, I, there was one uh, uh, this brand called Pay2.com. So they oh, built the raw materials also there from their side. Which company sir? A2, P E T W O dot com. So they, they will do the branding, they will do the structure of the restaurant, they will do everything. If they have a like a cookie cutter model. So okay, they, okay. Have, they will also give you the pre pre cooked food also send you have to reheat and serve. Okay, okay. That's okay. The they operate. So there are different franchise models that are available. It all depends on how you seal the deal. So if they okay. are they are specific about certain ingredients being used from their side, incorporate that in your place. No worries. Okay, Miss, what would be the most lucrative idea? Because uh, suppose I am being the franchisee owner, and what would be the most lucrative offer so that I can bring up those companies so that because they are they will be thinking of their own business interest, right? So in that way, how will I go and pitch them up? No, here, when you're a franchisee, you have to look at what is the deal that you've struck with him. How much is the marketing thing that they're going to help you build? Or you're doing it on your own. So most often, franchisee think the marketing part comes from their oh. side. Okay. So you really need to focus there. That's the standard operating. I'm not saying it's, it's a same story everywhere. It could be different. But as far as I my knowledge goes, it is definitely the franchiser will give you the options how to do your marketing. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine. So is there investment into from our end or the rear end? The operational investment? The initial operational investment? The initial operation will be yours. Okay. Yours. Okay, sir. That well, thank you. I said, yeah. When you yeah. do the back investment part, if you're shelling out your own money, be very yeah. cautious about how many kinds of food or equipment you want to install. Okay, fine, fine. You fine, sir. Well, five different things, then you say it's not working, then that equipment becomes defunct or redundant, then you are then you are made a mess. So you have to be very yes. cautious. You have the opportunity to grow later. You can yes. expand. So today you have a cloud kitchen in a small place and your your uh, tractions are ticking very high. And you need to expand now, then look for a different place, go a bigger space, take a space. Okay, sir. Move your location. So yes. people can be located. A restaurant cannot. A restaurant cannot just pull up a restaurant and go elsewhere. Huge cost is involved. Correct, correct. Okay, you just plug and play, take your kitchen, go elsewhere, expand it, add two more machines there. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir, for this uh, queries and all. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.